All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekha Kodash, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video, Third Spirit, Dwari Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, for giving us this truth, us worms, double honors to our apostle elders at Great Millstone, and, and salutation and blessings to the whole elect. It's going to be off the video that the apostle Gabar did called the, the Bagel of the Tampa Israelites, and uh, he put it on the comment board what Bagel means. Which I also looked it up too, but it says just to read it right off the com board. It says, "What is what is the meaning of boggle? Be over overwhelm. Be overwhelmed the mind to start with fright or or amazement. Be overwhelmed the mind boggled at the at the research needed." So basically, your mind is basically just—it's <laughs> overwhelmed, man. I can't handle it. Like when you overwhelm, you basically just—you just shut down, man. And these dudes are boggled, man. And why is Jake still worried about where another man is putting that rod, man? That is—that's a, a whole other topic. But if somebody want to deal with a goddamn prostitute, that's on them, man. That—that's—that's that's, there's nothing wrong with that. But this isn't the whole video. But just to say, man, it's just gonna be. Quick video and Jake is Jake is still emotional. They they act like women, and uh, man, the scriptures say quit you like men, which I'm a grab because Jake is still all oh, the sisters, the sisters, though this man, fuck the sisters, man. If they not doing the right thing, man, straight up. If the, they the scriptures which the apostle Gabar brought brought out that says that 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 our women are gonna be harlots in the street, man. These women are all harlots, man. They're all harlots. The woman you got was not your woman, man. So what is that? That's adultery. If you want to get deep deep into the scriptures, the woman that you got had sex with another man, and then that man is still alive, living to this day, and what she with another man. That that is a, adultery, man. And she probably left him, and he didn't leave her. So this world, hey, the Lord didn't say this is an adulterous and wicked generation for no reason. So stop being so old. Oh, the sisters, just shut up, man. Shut up about the sisters. The the ones that's going to do right is going to do right. And the ones that's not going to do right is going to do wrong. It's as simple as that. And and your base of not uh, what the Apostle Gabar brought up a little bit, the base of us not having the 100% truth is because something, something we said about the, something the Apostle said about the sisters. Really? And probably more y'all said in this hour video y'all did, but hey, it was off. But I let a little this of the elder video play, the apostle video play. Because he's just going to play that video. So, that's a specific part. Yeah, so you heard it, but video about the because what the apostle said is they're emotional, and that they that basically they're emotional, man. They're emotional, Jake's just emotional about women and prost the sisters ain't they not prostitutes and this and that, man. Shit, man, please get out of here, <laughs> get out of here with that. But uh. I'm gonna find the scripture real quick, real quick. And uh, Lord will hope this lesson be edified. It's gonna be re something real quick. But the scriptures say, "Quit you like men." If I can find it, let's see. Okay, right here. This is uh first First Corinthians. There's a blue letter. First Corinthians 16. 16 and what was it? Six, 
16 and 13. So this is 1 Corinthians 16 and 13. Uh, watch, watch. Oh, I'll start. I'll start up. I'll start at 12. As as of touching our our brother Apollos, uh, Apollos, I greatly desire him to come unto you with with the brethren, but but his will was not at at all to come at that at this time, but he will when he 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 shall have convenient time. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith. Quit, quit, you like men, be strong. So, let's get what it says when it says, quit, you like men. So, from the Greek word, let it, I'll let it play. Strong's G407. Andritzamai. 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 It's a G406. It says, to make a man... A, of or make brave to show oneself a man be brave quit you like men so it's basically being strong man being a strong man being being a, a man of integrity be not a, not a man of a of fucking emotions which we have emotions but your your emotions can't cloud your judgment man your emotions can't can't Shake what is what is just plain as day, man. Everybody knows these these women is hoes, man. Even hoes will tell you that they hoes, man. So it's not about letting your emotions. It's about it's about having integrity and putting your emotions to the side and accepting the truth, man. The truth is the truth, man. And you have sisters that are doing the right thing, you know, which which that's good, man. That's great. But you have a lot of them that's not, man. You have a lot of them that's not. But Jake get all emotional when you hear when somebody says something about the sisters. The sisters, man. The sisters ain't worried about you, man. They they not they not gonna give you no play just because you worried about them. Straight up, Jake trying to try. I know what Jake mo is, but the sisters don't. Hey, the sisters, man. They don't care about that shit. But the scripture says, quit you like men. The Bible is a manly book, man. The Bible is a manly book. And so the Apostle Gabar always says, the first thing becoming a man of the Lord, you have to be a man. You have to have integrity. You have to have manliness. You have to have a mental stability and, and understanding, man. Which a lot of Jake does not have, man. They're all full of their emotions because they've been raised by women their whole lives. But it's time to come off of that. That's what it talks about. Cutting off the old man. Destroying that old man. That old man which used to be in the world. Which we all used to be, man. But now we're working towards a better in Yahweh by Shemi Shai. It says Colossians 3 and verse 5. Mortify therefore your members which are which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, idolatry, uh uh. In ordinate affections, salaki, or inordinate affections, evil consumption, since and covetousness, which is idolatry, for these, for for which thing, for which things sake, the wrath of Yahweh comes upon the children of disobedient, and no, and one of in one of these scriptures were, were which is a scripture to build up uh, your spirit. It says neither nor effeminate. Neither being a feminine man, being all emotional, being all up in your emotions, all up in your feelings, it's not. It's not about that, man. When it comes to truth and understanding and and, and wisdom and knowledge, you can't be in your emotions, man. You cannot be in your emotions. You just have to let the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shemi Shai take over. And like, okay, that makes sense. Oh, I I, I understand that. Cause it, it 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 makes sense, man. If, hey, and if hey, the scriptures say, if you if uh, it is better to marry than to burn. If you want to if you want to do that, hey, go ahead, man. Or if you get, got a wife, shit, cool. Jake, why do you worry about what another man doing with with hey, knock him in adultery? It don't matter. <laughs> 
And when I say that, I mean you knowingly dealing with somebody that has a a a a a, 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 a man. So, hey, hey, let me grab this scripture too. Flock. This is a uh, I know uh, this is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel thirty-four, and verse. 31 and ye my flock the flock of my pasture are men i am the i am your power saith the lord yahweh by shmiel shy power so the heavenly father is is about manlyhood man being a man not letting your emotions run you but a man of understanding And that's that's what that scripture goes into in Titus, leading away silly women laden with lust. You say say shit like that, oh the sisters, because you wanna you want a sister. You you wanna have all these sisters and all this different stuff, but hey there's really not time for all that. But that's what Jake it be a secret MO why Jake be be doing that by oh well the sisters, the queens and it be it be uh, underlining Message, man, because Jake be trying to lead in women, man. But I'm gonna get an example of of, of manlyhood and and close it off. And the manliest book on the planet is the Bible, man. Straight up, it's a it's a it teaches you that basically manlyhood, man. It it goes through how a man is supposed to deal with a woman. It goes through how how a man is not supposed to deal with a woman. It goes through how women are supposed to be in line and in order. It's the manliest book on this planet. <laughs> and check out what the Lord said to to a the man the Lord Yahweh Shai himself called a woman a dog. He says not meat to give give the children's uh food unto, basically unto the dogs, roughly paraphrasing. So is the Lord wrong for calling that woman a dog, which in modern day is a bitch? This is uh, Numbers 12 and verse 14. And the Lord said unto Moses, if her father, well, I'll start up. This is uh, Numbers 12 and verse, verse 8. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even, even uh, apart, apart. Yep, apart. Nope. Let's see. Even. I'm going to start over. This is Numbers 12 and verse 8. With him will I speak mouth to mouth, even uh, apparently, and, and not in, and not in dark speech, speeches, and the similitudes of of the Lord shall shall he behold. Wherefore, then were ye not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? Basically, because the Lord speaks to Moses mouth to mouth. He didn't speak unto him in similitudes and all these different things. He spoke to him straight up, like, "Look, this is what you gonna do. This is my secrets, and, and this, hey, this is what it is." And so, he, and the Lord said, "Why are you not afraid to speak? Speak basically. Why aren't you afraid to speak of my dignitary as so, as as you are? Because they was basically popping shit at Moses, Aaron, and and uh, Mary, his sister. And the and the and the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he and and he departed, and the cloud departed from from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam. I said Mary, but Miriam Salakia." Miriam became leprous. She, they, she turned into a white woman, in other words. Because they these you know, this whole scenario was people with dark skin, man. Why why the snow and Aaron looked upon Miriam and noticed how Aaron nothing was wrong with Aaron. Aaron was a a Aaron was was wrong, but Miriam was the one out of place completely. And behold, she was leprous, and Aaron said unto Moses, Alas, my Lord, I beseech thee, lay not this sin upon upon us, wherein we we have done foolishly, and wherein we have sinned. 
let her not be as one dead. And you Edomites, man, you're as one as dead, man, with your leper skin. Of whom of whom the flesh is half consumed when when he comes out of his mother's womb. And Moses cried unto the Lord, saying, Heal her now, O power, I beseech thee. And check out what the Lord said, man. And he said, And the Lord Yahweh said unto Moses, It if her father had but spit in her face, she should she not be ashamed even seven days? Let let her be shut shut out from the camp seven days. And after, let her be received in again. So, man, hey, that's straight from the Heavenly Father. He said, man, her, man basically better if it were if she be, uh, her father was spitting her face, man, and she'd be ashamed and be cast off for those seven days. Hey, you, we, hey, the ancient world is is a whole nother mindset, man. And that's a mindset we're coming coming back into. Not to, we're not going towards this emotional, effeminate, weak mindset of thinking, man. For so long, the world has taught that you should treat a woman like a princess. You should do this. You should do that. You you got a bit bow down to a woman. Fuck that shit, man. That's not the spirit we coming in. We coming in a manly, raw spirit of Yahweh by Shem Shai because that's the, the the spirit that the Heavenly Father is about. He's about order, man. You know, a lot of these women are not in order, man. And they're going to be put in order when the, when the, when these last days happen upon the earth. And you Jakes who want to be a Captain save -a for these women and get so offended to the point where you want to talk, talk, talk smack to the apostles and elders, specifically Apostle Kabar, about a woman, about what he said about women. You Jake's gonna get in line too, man. You gonna get in order, man. It's ridiculous. Is this just something real quick, man? No, it's kind of all over the place, but I hopefully the message got across, man. That the Lord is looking for men, not not boys, man. Not emotional boys. The Lord Yahweh Shai is looking for men, men who put put. Aside their emotions to do the right thing and please Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Integrity comes before your emotion. The truth comes before your emotions. So, this is just something real quick, man. All praise be to Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. Shalom.